Hey guys, Ruffin Gaming Bed today, bringing you a video for our weapon conversion series for our Cold War weapons, and today we're going to convert the Krieg 6 into the FNFNC, which is a Belgium assault rifle, which has been in service since the late 70s. So let's go ahead and we'll jump right into it. I'll show you how to convert the weapon, then we'll jump into some gameplay against bots where I show off the recoil pattern and just how this performs in Black Ops Cold War. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So I'll go ahead and back out here, and I will strip off all of the attachments for this weapon. Um, one thing to know here is the actual conversion itself does not work for Warzone, and I'll show you the some of the main converting factors and why that don't work if you're going to use them in Warzone. So, again, we'll start with our base Krig 6, which is really the AK-5, and what we'll do is we'll start convert this, converting this into the FNFNC. So, first off, for the, uh, the optic, we're going to go ahead and want just a, a base red dot, so I actually... Just going through everything that's in here, try to look for something that would really fit the time period of the late 80s for this type of weapon. So I ended up going with the base uh, mill stop reflex sight, just because this or the, even the quick dot uh, LED I think we'll run with. Either of these two are really good options. Just that they look like an older optic, even though uh, some of them may or may not be before or after their time. So we'll go ahead and do the quick dot LED. This is going to give us a 1.25 magnification on this weapon. Go ahead and select that. Now for the muzzle, we can leave this uh, blank. You can really put on whatever you want here. Right now we'll leave it blank. We might circle back to that. But for the main attachment here that you want to convert this weapon, you're gonna want the 19.7 uh, inch Ranger. So you see there's a couple 19, there's a takedown as well as the Ranger. You can see that the Ranger changes the handguard to that of the FN FNC. And you can see the difference with all these other handguards. So you can see how these change the weapon and the barrel length as well. Now one thing to note, if we select any of these in Warzone, it's only going to affect the barrel length itself. It's not going to make any changes to the handguard or the color scheme at all. So we are going to want the 19.7 inch Ranger. However, when you do this in Warzone, it will not give you this conversion with the handguard or even the barrel color or anything like that. It's just going to extend the length of the barrel itself. So the 19.7 inch Ranger, again, this is going to increase our bullet velocity by 100%. The cons are going to be the aim, walking, movement speed are going to be reduced by 20%. So we'll go ahead and select that, our main conversion here, to make this weapon the Krieg 6 or the AK-5 into the FN, FNC. Body, we'll go ahead and skip. Under barrel, I'm going to go ahead and throw on the field agent grip. This is just going to give us the vertical recoil control of 6% and the horizontal recoil control of 20%. The cons being the shooting movement speed of 26% reduction. So we'll go ahead and select that. Go with the base magazine here. Uh, the handle we can go ahead and skip. And then for the stock, the stock in real life, you come it comes with this base skeleton stock here. However, there are options. There's a few different options for a uh, fixed butt stock on this weapon. So you can have the 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 uh, the folding skeleton stock we see here, which would fold to the right hand side of the weapon. You can see there how it's set up. It would fold to the right hand side. Or you can get the fixed polymer stock, which I'm going to go ahead and select here with the tactical stock. This is going to give us the fixed polymer stock that came with this weapon. This is just one of the two uh, butt stocks that came available with this weapon. And we'll go ahead and select that again. It's just going to increase our aim walking movement speed by 20%. So it'll make up for our underbarrel attachment that we put on there. So that's four attachments that we can go ahead for the muzzle. And we'll go ahead and put on the flash guard there. You can really run whatever you want for this. I'll go ahead and do the flash guard. This is going to give us the muzzle concealment of 90%, and it goes more in line with what came at base with the uh, the FNFNCs. It usually came with flash hiders on them as well, which could also be used to mount grenade launches as well. So we'll go ahead and select that. And again, this is just going to reduce our muzzle flash concealment by 90%. So we'll show up on the minimap, but very, very briefly. Go ahead and select that. And that should be everything for our final attachment for our FNFNC converted from the Craig 6 or the AK-5 in real life. And again, we've opted to go with that polymer fixed butt stock versus the side folding skeleton stock. And again, you can see the, uh, we, unfortunately we can't get up close and personal to the weapon like we can in Modern Warfare or Warzone, but you have the ambidextrous uh, select fires there, which I don't believe was uh, a feature on the FNFNC. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't recall. We have the mag release. Uh, the magazines, Stenag magazines here, are interchangeable with the M4s and M16s. However, some of them would not leave the bolt open on the last round unless you had the right lower. Um, other than that, you have the charging handle there on the right-hand side of the weapon. Obviously, we have the fixed stock. We have a mock Picatinny rail here on this weapon. And then the handguard there is what we really wanted for the 19.7-inch Ranger to convert this weapon. So if we look at camos on this, just so you guys can see, it's going to cover um, the entirety of the weapon minus the magazine, the optic, and the foregrip, and obviously the barrel and the muzzle there, but everything everything else there 
is going to be covered. So for the sake of this, we're not going to put an attachment on just because I think it's, it's going to take away from how the uh, the rifle looks in that attachment. If we could get a clean black, that would be nice. But now we have this kind of mixed looking rifle, which is both uh, both almost UDT green and black <laughs> with the, the lower and upper receiver there, minus the barrel, the buttstock, and the pistol grip. So interesting looking gun. But again, this is our final conversion for the FN FNC. Let's go ahead now. We'll jump into the gameplay for this weapon and go through some of the weapon stats. And here in the gameplay, you can see the weapon, the recoil. First off, we'll test off the recoil here. And they're really in Cold War. There's really no recoil whatsoever on this weapon. There's very little recoil on weapons to begin with. But this weapon, you'll see first off in here, I'm going to fire it, not even controlling the recoil whatsoever. We're just going to let it rip. And you can see it climbs maybe like a, like a hair and then it levels off. So you do not need to even control this. And then the second firing. Here you'll see I'm actually trying to compensate for recoil, but because there's no recoil, I'm pulling down too hard. You really don't need to compensate. So I'm more inaccurate when I'm trying to adjust for recoil. So don't even do it. Just let this thing rip. There's literally no recoil on this. Um, if you shoot them, if you shoot them in the chest, you're only going to rise up, not even to the head, probably. So you really don't need to mitigate or put any more attachments on to mitigate or compensate with your controller or your mouse for the the recoil on this weapon. So. Overall, really good weapon. Uh, again, the Craig is, is your medium type damage, but your pretty good sustainable fast rate of fire with low recoil. We get one of these weapons or multiple in every Call of Duty. It handles really well. It's pretty versatile. It's definitely a very, very viable weapon in Warzone as well. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have the conversion. Uh, we can't do the conversion in Warzone just because the the handguards don't change with the barrel lengths and and the other features of this barrel that you can that you saw when we went through this it really changed the entirety of the barrel and the handguard to that of the FN FNC and for this particular conversion in Warzone it doesn't do any of that it only extends the uh, barrel it doesn't do anything to the gas block or anything like that so unfortunately we can't do it in Warzone yet maybe that's something they'll circle back and fix but we'll have to wait and see but for the real life weapon, the FN FNC. Again, this is a Belgian rifle developed by FN Herstel in the late 70s. It was really developed to be kind of a, a cheaper uh, alternative to the M16 rifles. So this is in service since 1979 through present. It has a couple different users, but mainly again, developed for the Belgian army. There's some other uh, variations we'll go through here. Uh, the designer is, is FN Herstel, same as the M249 SAR, the FN Minimi. We have the design period took place from 1975 through 1977. Manufacturers FN Herstel. It was produced through 1979 through 2004. I don't believe there's any more production going on for this rifle as it has been replaced, I believe. A uh, couple different variants of that being the the well-known really what the Krieg 6 is based off of is the Swedish rifle, the AK-5. There's also the AK-5C, which is the more modern variation of that. And there's also the Indonesian rifle, the Pindad SS2V1, which is another variation of this rifle. So there's those two variations, the FN, uh, FNC obviously being the primary, and I think the AK-5 and the AK-5C are the most well-known of those. I've never even heard of the Indonesian rifle, um, but again, that's just another variation of this, which has been in service since the late 90s. Now, if we go to the other stats for the weapon here, the mass of the rifle overall is going to be 8.47 pounds. The length of the rifle is going to be 39.3 inches with the stock. Now, the barrel in real life is going to be 17.7 inches, and here in game, we have it as 19.7. So in order to get that handguard, you need to go with a 19.7 inch barrel. However, just keep in mind, it is two inches longer than the, than the real life variant of the FN FNC. The width is going to be 2.8 inches with the stock extended. That's obviously if there's a skeleton stock involved. If it's folded, it's going to increase the width to 3 inches. So you can take into effect the width would be with a fixed butt stock that we have here would be 2.8 inches. Height overall is going to be 9.4 inches. Now the cartridge is the 5x6x45 NATO. As I said, it fires the same magazines with the M16, those Stenag mags. The action for the, the rifle, like almost all of them is a gas operated long stroke piston or a rotating bolt the rate of fire in real life is going to be 700 rounds per minute i'm not sure what it is in cold war it's still a pretty fast rate of fire it feels like it would come in a little bit over 700 rounds per minute but again probably i'm sure jay god jay god and some of the other guys like ace and drifter have already published that data but it's one of the higher rate of fire weapons especially for how how much you can sustain fire without affecting any recoil of the weapon the muzzle velocity in real life is going to be 3,166 feet per second or 965 meters per second. 
The effective range is going to be 250 through 400 meters, depending on the sights. The maximum firing range is going to be 450 meters, and the feed system is going to be the 30-round Steneg magazine. And then there are obviously different sights for adjustable flip-up sights and mounted optics as well for the FN, FNC. So let me know down below what you guys think. That's really it for this weapon. The uh, FN, FNC is really a well-known weapon produced by the Belgian... Your, you, by FN Herstel, the Belgian company, and used, utilized by the Belgian military. But I would say the besides the FN FNC, the AK-5 and the AK-5s here, are probably the most well-known uh, variations of this. We've seen the AK-5, obviously, is what the base Krieg-6 is based off of, not even the FN FNC. It's based off of the AK-5. But we also have the AK-5C, which is a more modern variation of the rifle, which we may or may not be able to make in game, so I may be posting something about that um, for the AK-5C. And that's really it. So let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon. Uh, really nice. It's a pretty neat conversion. It's not a full-on ammo conversion, but again, with some of the different parts, we can really we can really make a different uh, variation of the AK-5, turning it back into the FN FNC, which is the original inspiration for those we weapons. So let me know down below what you guys think of this. How do you think it handles in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer? Like I said, and you can see in the in the, in the gameplay here, I'm not controlling any recoil whatsoever. You can just let this thing rip. Unfortunately, you can't convert this for Warzone, which is kind of a bummer. Um, I went to do it. I was gonna pr try and use it and get some footage there as well, um, but I'll I'll show it in the future probably. Uh, you can you can't when you change any of the barrels, the handguard and everything, and the gas block all stays the same. You only get that. That part of the barrel after the gas block that extends to different lengths so you can't really convert the weapon based on any barrel uh cosmetic changes which is a little bit unfortunate but like i said maybe that's something they'll change in the future we'll just have to wait and see what they end up doing with that but i'll leave you guys with that this is buffner gaming with the conversion from the krieg 6 or the ak5 into the belgian fn fnc till next time buffering gaming